Hello people and welcome or welcome back to news review. This week's news is not as long but I have still tried to condense stuff down to make it easier to digest. If you are a new or returning player I do recommend you check out my new player guide. It'll help you better understand what I'm saying in the video. As always open up the patch notes link in the description if you want to follow along. Additionally I'm trying out a new thing where I buy a guild stage for every 10 subscribers I hit which will give you a diamond if it's your first time clearing it. Thank you so much for 480 subscribers, the next milestone will be at 490 subscribers, so subscribe and also join the guild as well as the discord, both codes in the description if you want to participate and be notified of that. Starting off we have a new Earth Human Tournament of Duels card, Li Long Er. She is a fixed board card which is always useful paired with extra attacks. Both of these things already exist within the Earth Human card pool but I don't think another card has paired them together like this in the past. Next we have a new Water Machina Horror Stage card Charlotte. Combo Inheritance is something that isn't used that often, but she is also the second ever Machina card to ignore death damage, with the first being the Fire Small Prize from Galactic Odyssey, making this quite a unique uh, skill within Machinas. This stage also comes with an exclusive Dragonair, but it's pretty bad beyond giving CD-2 upon entry. Uh, the AR skills for this week uh, are for Druids of Nature, as the buffs promised, but they are a little—they are only a little better than those from last week. Still not great. The two that might actually matter are Dodo and Sumatra. If you want to take a look at the rest of them, you can do so on your own time. I personally think they won't affect gameplay whatsoever. Dodo gains the ability to ignore Frozen, which might not be included in some team skills, which you know gives those teams an extra ability. And Sumatra gains the ability to hypnotize enemies. While there hasn't been a hypnotized shield introduced to the game yet, I'm betting that it will likely appear in the future, so this card will probably be useful there. Lastly, we have the Water 5 Attribute Rapture event, which once again gives you a chance to get specific water cards and also allows you to produce water orbs if you are, you know, lacking in them. For my ranking of the free cards, both cards are decent, fixed board cards are always good despite the oversaturation of human cards, and Charlotte is a unique card within Machinas. Moving on to the celebration events, the returning ultimate cards this time are the Water Dragon Dagon and the Water Elf Sarius. Dagon is a pretty decent dragon card, so far from if you're interested in dragon teams, but Sarius is relatively useless, uh, being a Water Elf card that ignores death damage mostly but there is another uh water elf card that just does it better which is saviera uh so you can beat that stage once and move on uh lastly the stamina discounts for specific stages in the lr plus is still going on until near the end of the month and gives me another chance to tell you to go watch the farming guide if you haven't already and i'll hopefully be releasing a mini compilation of seal boss speedrunning videos or rather one video of all the seal bosses uh, in the LR pass by the time this comes out. That's it for this week's news review. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate your time. And I also really appreciate a like, comment, or subscription. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.